I love studying medicine. I think the body is so exciting. Understanding how you can go from being ill to cured. My passion for medicine actually started with my father. He wanted to be a doctor and I knew that they didn't have the opportunities we do today. So as a little girl, I kind of started studying medicine as a testimony to my dad. And just, it was a blessing that when I started studying, I actually really enjoyed it. We need better quality medical care for everyone. Easier access, better resources, because working in the hospitals, I've seen that in our clinics or in our rural areas, not everybody is treated the same. People are sitting in long queues. So I think that our health system can really be boosted. South Africa. South Africa is a tuberculosis survivor who hopes to raise awareness to people suffering from the disease unstigmatized. This 24-year-old recently launched her hashtag Break the Stigma campaign in conjunction with the World Health Organization, South Africa. South Africa. South Africa is currently studying medicine with plans to become a pediatrician. This 24-year-old future doctor played netball for 11 years and enjoy hiking and swimming in her free time. South Africa! South Africa. And now, it's time to announce our first five semi-finalists. The very first contestant from Africa and Asia Pacific to move into the semi-finals is... South Africa! How are you? I'm very good, how are you? Well, I'm wonderful. Last year's Miss Universe was from South Africa. Do you feel extra pressure on you to pull off a back-to-back -back victory? Well, Steve, I think it's normal for there to be a little bit of pressure, but I know that South Africa is supporting me all the way, just like they supported Demi. I know they're probably all sitting behind their TV screens right now with a cup of coffee because it's two o'clock in the morning, and I just want to say thank you so much. Beautiful. Thank you, South Africa. Saudi Thailand. As a medical student and tuberculosis survivor, a disease that kills millions of people every year, I'm one of the lucky few to survive, and I'm able to tell my story through my hashtag Break the Stigma campaign. And I hope I can encourage everyone out there who's facing any adversity or any challenge to speak up about their story. Kapunka. The first to move forward in the competition is South Africa. I'm studying medicine. I'm a second medical student. Studying medicine, you come face to face with this fine line between life and death. And I think that teaches you how to appreciate life so much more. It teaches you to show love and be compassionate. We need better quality medical care for everyone. Because working in the hospitals, I've seen that in our clinics or in our rural areas, not everybody is treated the same. I definitely want to work in health for the rest of my life. And it requires someone who is really passionate about it to do a good job at being a doctor. And I think I've been blessed with those skills, so I have to use it, it's my responsibility. South Africa. And now, here are your top 10 finalists, starting with South Africa. Wow, wow. That's all I can say. She checks all the boxes, and from the moment she walked in rehearsal, I couldn't stop looking at her, and neither could the other contestants. She is definitely crowning material. Look at the walk in the face. 
South Africa, step right up. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Uh, many countries across the world are experiencing an increase in immigration. Do you think countries should limit the number of refugees allowed across their borders? I think that every country should have their own rules and regulations, but for a thriving society and for all of us to stand together we have to understand that we are all human and we all are more alike than we are not so we should be open to loving each other accepting each other doesn't matter where we come from thank you South Africa our second of three finalists is South Africa Please remove South Africa's headphones. South, South Africa, please join me. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Steve. Here's your question. What is the most important lesson you've learned in your life and how would you apply it to your time as Miss Universe? Throughout my life, throughout my life, I've been exposed to both those who are privileged and underprivileged. And what I've learned is that we are all human. We all want to be loved, we all want to belong, and we all want to be seen. So we should treat each other that way. Thank you. Thank you, South Africa. The second runner-up for Miss Universe is Venezuela! Congratulations, Venezuela! Only two women remain, South Africa, and Philippines, please come center stage. Both of you have worked so hard to get here, but only one of you is about to become our new Miss Universe. If for any reason the winner is unable to fulfill her duties, the first runner up will take her place. Good luck to you both. The new Miss Universe is 